I'm Joe James and in this video we're going to cover insertion sort. We'll take a detailed look at how the insertion sort works. We'll look at the big O analysis of the running time for insertion sort and then I'll show you how to code an insertion sort program in Python. So we're going to start with a list of integers. So we're going to start with a single item in our sorted list on the left and one by one we're going to work through the unsorted list and move each item into its correct position. So here we know the 7 is already sorted if there's only one item in the list we're looking at. Next we'll look at the 8. Is 8 less than 7? No, it's not. So we know the 8 is in its correct position. So we can mark the 8 as sorted. And next we'll look at the 5. Is 5 less than 8? Yes, it is. So we're going to swap places. Is 5 less than 7? Yes, so the 5 is going to swap with the 7. Now the 5 has moved into the correct position. So 5, 7, and 8 are sorted. We can mark those as blue. Next we'll consider the 4. Is 4 less than 8? Yes it is, so we swap. Is 4 less than 7? Yes, so we swap. Is 4 less than 5? Yes, so we swap. Now the 4 is in correct position and the 4 through 8 are in the sorted part of the list. We have two items left in our unsorted part of the list. So we consider the 9. Is 9 less than 8? No, so the 9 we can consider already sorted. And we'll consider the 2. Is 2 less than 9? Yes, so it swaps. It's less than 8, it swaps. Less than 7, less than 5, and less than 4. So we swap the 2 all the way to the left. Now you can see one of the issues with insertion sort here. If you have a really long list and a small number at the very right end of the list, you have to do a heck of a lot of swapping to get it into its position. So we'll look at ways to streamline this a little bit later in this video. So insertion sort is not a particularly fast sorting algorithm because it uses nested loops to sort. It's really only useful for relatively small data sets, no more than about 10,000 items. And it runs in big O of n squared time. So how can we write a Python program to do insertion sort? First we'll define a function called insertion sort that accepts a list A. We're going to have an outer loop with loop variable i. This is going to cover a range from 1, which is the second item in the list, all the way to the very end of the list. And then we'll have an inner loop variable that covers from i minus 1. We want to loop through all the items to i's left. So we'll start from the item to i's immediate left and work our way to 0, the first item in the list, with a step of negative 1. That means we want to move left through the list. Then we'll do a comparison. If the item to the right is less than the item on its left, they'll swap places. So we have a swap. And if it's not, then we want to break out of this inner loop because that item's already found its correct position. And we'll go to the next value in the i loop. Now you can do the same thing with a while loop. The while loop is a little bit cleaner. Uh, you're basically doing the same thing here. You have a comparison and a swap if needed. So the expensive operation is swapping values. Each time you do a swap in Python or probably any programming language, even though this happens behind the scenes in Python, the code is pretty simple. Uh, what actually has to happen is the x has to be assigned to a temp variable, y is assigned to x, and temp is assigned to y, just so that you can trade places x and y. Each time we do a swap, three operations take place. Now we can cut that down considerably by copying 2 into a temp variable called currentNum or current number, and then we'll do our comparisons. If 2 is less than 9, we'll simply write 9 over the top of the 2. And if 2 is less than 8, we'll write an 8 over the top of the 9. If 2 is less than 7, we'll write a 7 over the top of the 8, and so on, until we find the correct position where the 2 belongs. So now the 2 belongs here, where the 4 is, and we can write kernum on top of that. So now we've saved a lot of swapping. We basically just shifted items to the left. We use one assignment in place of three assignments. And I've actually benchmarked both methods and found that the shifting is about two times faster. So here's our code for the shifting method instead of using swaps. It basically does the same thing, uh, except it copies the current i value into a variable called kernum, and then we compare to kernum throughout our inside loop, and we swap j with the item on its right if it needs to be swapped, and if not, then we plop kernum back into the sorted part of the list where it belongs. So that's our final code for the insertion sort, fully optimized. That's as fast as we can make it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. 
I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.